What is up guys, and what a hound here, and welcome back to episode 2 of our let's play. Okay guys, today is time to build a lot of things. We need to build a super furnace, the enchantment table, and we need to, we need to go and make sure those villagers are safe. So I gotta lock them down, but before we do that, I need to go to our first base and get some food What's so bright? it's hard to breathe but that's all right Hush. i arrived yesterday but i went straight to the bed because i didn't want zombies zombies into zombies biting my villagers especially kid zombies it Adult proof mod, not kid zombie proof. Yeah, so, yep. Yeah. Remember when I said I'll, I'm going to move this? I'm going to remove everything. But after a while, I'm pre I want to do it this episode. This is not looking well. I want to change everything. Everything, but it's going to take me a while. I'll do this in my free time, but before I do that, I wanna get some last trades on these villagers and see what I can get. Okay, and here we have it: six emeralds for one book, for one bookcase. A block, I don't know what we call it. And I have five. On these extra books. So what do you want? What do you want? Okay guys, uh, there's a few things I wanna get. I need a saddle. Which is right here. Diamond saddle for our new horsey. And I'm gonna need a name tag. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of things to move out if I want to change this. But we can do it. Oh, more book cases. Okay, the only thing I haven't took yet is that leash. And here it is. Wait, what? What book is this? And the blank book. Okay, uh, I'm gonna name that the to-do book. Only thing we didn't get here that I desperately need is an anvil. We'll see where we can get that, but for now we need to go back to we need to go back to our storage system. And it is a long way to walk. Obviously I'm not gonna walk through the night without sleeping sleeping. There's a bed in in those villages. I'm just gonna sleep there and then continue in the next morning. Checkpoint one done. Now time to walk. A horse. Come on, let me on, let me on, let let hey listen, let me on. Oh wait, I'm, I'm... Oh, this horse also has a lot of hearts. Come on! Yeah, there we go. That's a good girl. Now we're home! Yay! Okay, first thing I need to do is put him on a leash. I wonder how much iron we got yesterday for mining. Oh, fuck. Oh, gee, it is. Ah, uh, we don't even have enough. You kidding me? Okay, we're gonna we're going to have to do a quick mining session. But before we do that, we need to get the super furnace and the enchantment table ready. Okay, guys, I'm still bu building the platform, but as you guys can see, I forgot to get obsidian. So yeah, now I need to go down there and get myself some obsidian. 
I'll save that for last. Right now, what should we, right now? Right now, I'm thinking, what should we do with the with the space over here? A solid 10 minutes oh am I kidding half an hour of mining we have everything we need okay I need to make the stuff wow I can make a diamond block look at me wait what oh yeah I need a book Okay, here's the book and where is it? There we go. Okay, guys, I've I have been modeling this for a bit now, and it's looking fine. It's not the the best, but it will do for now. We still need to build a super smelter, but had, I don't know where to put it. Yeah, let me just put it here. Right, guys, 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 guys. It, guys, guys, <laughs> okay. uh, guys, it's night time and I think it's time to go to lock the villagers inside their own houses. Oh, wait. Is that village in there? And, he's a, and he doesn't have a job. Okay, this is great. We can give him... We can make him a librarian. Oh, come on. We'll be back with a name tag and we'll make him a librarian. Any villager in here? Nope. Only found one villager in this whole village. This That's quite weird. Let's see what enchantments we can get on our sword. Here's what this. Wait, what? This is not... How? But this was full powered. Ah, great. Okay, let's see what our guest can give us. Yes, friend. Yes. Yes, I'm here to trade. There we go. Mending. Nope. I want mending. This is gonna take some time. Aqua efficiency, holy shoot. Dude. I want aqua efficiency, but. But if I want to collect the stuff I need for the for the build I need mending. Not bad, you nearly wait, 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 wait. Eh? Don't get out. Let me get get all the blocks all the emerald blocks and trade with him I will put them back back as soon as I get 
get get get get it back get back but right now we need those box and aqua ah <sighs> where was he when i needed aqua efficiency Okay guys, uh, today's the day. Today's the day we go and chop down. We go break down our old base. But first I'm going to need wood. I'm going to get two stacks of wood then. As soon as that's done, I'm going to inform you guys. Then we'll go there and start chopping down. Okay guys, now we got all the wood. Got the wood. Now it's time to go back to... Our old base and make some chests. Put them at a far distance so that we can collect everything. Okay, I didn't have didn't mean to do that. Where's the leash? Okay, it's now it's time to take out everything. Oh wait, I need to build a chest first so you okay we have a st stack of chests now it's time to place them i want to place them as far away from from the remodeling oh there we go okay i guess I'll start with the parts I don't need first. Those, that house over there, and with those huts over there will remain. Will remain because I need, I need it, and that village breeder. I will remove those later. While I build, I will remove it or improve it. Either one. But yeah, as soon as it becomes morning, we'll start on this house this wheat this watermelon field and that pumpkin field this basically these this whole thing right here then i'll save this for last because i have some village yeah wait yeah, yeah i'll save this for last It took me 30 hours just to remove the whole melon farm. At this point, I didn't want to do the pumpkin farm as well because I'll just move along as I'll just move along as it is. So just to take off the stress of removing the whole melon farm, I decided to move up the time to slay all the villagers and the iron golems. Okay, we're geared up, now we need to go and slay all the villagers, at least those those ones uh, that are in my way. Okay, let's start in here because there's an iron column in here. Let's slay this one first. First one down, 
Before I go, try to go I mean. Okay, he's up yet. Whoa, big boy. Okay, now time to go to the next one. Which are the villagers in there? I'm only gonna slave. Sl Wait, I'm gonna. Sl I'm only gonna leave for for a life just to make sure none of them despawn. Holy moly! Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, my bad, my bad. I killed one too ma too many. That's okay. Okay, wait. Uh, is that all of them? Oh, yeah, right. There's two more high-end columns to go. There they are. Still don't understand how they keep spawning in here. Yeah, I'm also gonna need to kill every animal in here. <laughs> ah, not here comes the hard part. Making sure this whole thing is kinda even. It took me five and a half hours to remove every single thing above, but but we didn't remove the underground storage system. We'll remove that later. And the other huts, also the breeding room, those will eventually get removed as we progress. And we can now start building our new mine. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, I'll call this the stone factory. This is mainly to get stone. And as you guys can see, right around, right over this mountain, there is like a gravel, a lot of gravel, which is going to be useful. It's like this, this is a lot of gravel. I'm going to use this to path roads. Things we need to do first is even out the land so there's no bumps i don't want any bumps then remove all the dirt and and place a texture that looks that looks kind of industrial over all of that hot mess okay i wanna go in creative real quickly guys and show you what i have been busy making Okay guys, I've been thinking of making it sort of like this. I mean like you can already tell that it looks super industrial. I mean obviously I'm not gonna put stone walls, I'm gonna put literally a stone factory but that is going to be a secret place where I store all this unneeded stone and iron like all my ores. Just gonna put them there. I'm gonna have a uh, factory I'm gonna have two more other factories ones for like my crafting tables where I can enchant upgrade disenchant all my tools and another one for my villagers who's gonna sell me ar armor I tools like things that evolve around tools and ores will be the ones in that factory and before we go back into creative i want to show you guys what i what i thought of for our for our storage company our huge storage base thinking something more of the line of this that's by looking at the sheeps and pigs you guys can probably 
tell how big this is. And the max height is right here. This is how high it's going to be. Let me turn on coordinates just for you guys to see how much blocks how much blocks this this is. 85. Wait, wait, what? Yes. I want it to be this high. I guess that's not up to scale. Wow, was I so incorrect when I was counting this. That's going to be huge. By the end of the season, hopefully we'll have this done. This, this is by far the biggest project I have, uh, I have ever decided to do. And it's going to have 2,100,000 glasses. Glass, not glasses. Glass. So we're going to need to go to a desert and take all the sand. All of it. I'm pretty sure we're going to take... We're going to descend at least 10 forests. 10 deserts. Why did I say forests? 10 deserts before we can even get close to our goal. So yeah, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit it, hit it so you can never miss out on my new videos. Okay, we are here. But it's night time, so I gotta go hit the hay. Ugh, there's already mobs around. Okay, time to cook us up a good enchantment. Efficiency in this. Thank you very much. And so touch. Here we go. Now what are these things called? That call is set of trees. Are they vines? Or am I mistaken? Wait, what is they? Where are they? Oh, there's some. Oh, yep, vines. Unfortunately, we're going to need a lot of this, so I'm gonna have to start mine up. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. But fortunately for us, the jungle had a lot of vines. Wow, and I didn't even get to that tree yet. Okay, a stack will do. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go back to the village and start on the stone factory. After a while, I went back to our home base and I had to break all the chests that I didn't break. After that, I evened out all of the platform. Then I started with the mine. Uh, and two days later, we got this. And I didn't actually level out the whole ground, but this is by far what we need for, the, for this whole video. Oh wait, these trees. Okay, since we're done with those trees, now let's get on with what I was about to say. So, there's two ways we are going to get stone and our ores manually and that's by open and closed mining uh, and i want my open mine to be in the mountain but since i haven't yet removed all the dirt i guess we can start with the open mine it took some time to remove all the dirt so i can print the open mine but we haven't started mining yet but i felt as if we had to make the path before we started mining so
Okay guys, uh, looks like I'm going to have to cut the video here. But so far we got this done. And next time we'll we will build and maybe dig down until we hit stone right here. With that being said guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and tell me what was your favorite part of this video. See you guys in three days time. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.